Hey there, and welcome back. I wanted to thank everyone for all the great questions that you had about Session Ace Shine Symbol Cleaner, uh, whether it was how does it do on B8 bronze or B12 bronze or B20 bronze or cast or non-cast symbols. There's so many questions. I tried to get to as many as I could in emails and comment threads, but today I wanted to show you some examples to help answer some of your questions. So the symbol that I've got for this particular video is from the late 60s, early 70s. This is a Zilco symbol, which is a B20 symbol. Uh, if you're familiar with the history of this symbol, these, this particular one, if I look at the badge correctly, yeah, this was made in Canada. So this was actually made at the factory that is now known as the Sabian factory. The main difference in the Zilco symbols and why they were a little less expensive uh, when they were available new was that they didn't go through the extensive hammering process that a normal Zildjian symbol would go through. So they were significantly less, but the quality of the B20, the lathing, all the things you come to normally expect in a Zildjian symbol are there. Uh, you just don't have all the extensive, expensive hand hammering that they used to do back in the late 60s and the early 70s. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a second to let you hear the symbol before we apply any of this solution and hear the difference afterwards. So, here we go. We're just gonna listen for a second. Now, I don't know if you could tell from the recording, but definitely here the symbol is a bit muted. Uh, you could tell where there was some tape on this symbol at one point, and a lot of the tape residue is still there on the front and on the back. Um, it's just a very muted symbol, and the way it plays, it actually plays uh, like it has tape all over it, uh, with a lot of the gunk and a lot of the the trash that you see on the symbol, it's just muting the symbol's ability to actually vibrate. So uh, what we're gonna do is apply this symbol cleaner and it's probably gonna take a couple of rounds at least and a fair amount of scrubbing. You'll notice I've got a black glove on, not making a political statement or nothing. This is uh, the symbol glove we're starting to ship now with every uh, order of the larger bottle, the, the pump handled bottle of Session A Shine like we'll use today. Uh, you get a free textured scrubbing glove to help you with uh, cleaning your symbol. So let's pull it off the rack and let's apply some of this in, in real time so you can see how this works. So now I'm not gonna uh, pre-treat the symbol with any kind of water or anything like that. I'm just gonna spray this stuff right onto the symbol. I'm gonna put a little extra in some of those areas with the tape. I'm not even worried about getting it on the counter. There's no bleach or anything in, in this solution, so you're not gonna hurt your countertops. If anything, you might do a little cleaning for your wife, and uh, we'll all agree that's gonna be good for you in the end, right? Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna let the solution set for a second. You can see the bubbles that actually, they're actually scrubbing as we're working. And I'm actually gonna take this glove and kind of work it, work the solution into the symbol. Now, as I'm cleaning the symbol, the one thing that I wanted to clarify that I had a ton of questions about about the symbol cleaner is, unlike symbol cleaners that will strip away part of the metal uh, with certain cleaners that people use, especially things that are like Brasso, they'll actually pull the top layer of the metal off and you'll have a little less symbol than you started with, which changes the sonic characteristics of the symbol. It changes uh, the, the lathing that was done and actually uh, rounds off the lathing. That's gonna have a huge sonic uh, difference in the sound. With, with Session A Shine, we do none of that. This solution literally is just lifting the dirt out of the pores of the symbol. So uh, in a lot of cases, you'll get a shinier symbol. I mean, that's part of what the name is about. But what I really am looking for is I want more shine and shimmer and I want the full tone of the symbol to come out. And that's really what Session A Shine is doing. It's pulling the dirt and the gunk and the trash out of those grooves 
so that we can really hear the sound, the true nature of the cymbal itself. All right, so after I let that sit for a few minutes, then we're gonna, just like we did before, we're gonna use some really hot water and we're gonna begin to rinse the cleaner off of the cymbal. Already, the cymbal's looking really, really good. There's a ton of dirt coming off. A lot of the green stuff's coming off of this cymbal. There's still a little of this tape that I see. Now, what I'm gonna do for this second pass is, I have a little cleaner on my hands left already. I'm gonna take a little of the water off of the cymbal. I'm gonna spray another round of that cleaner onto this cymbal. And then, I'm gonna flip it over and let the solution sit for a while on that side of the symbol. Now here on the other side, you'll see there's a lot of gunk. There's a lot of this tape residue and things that, that really are gonna not help the sound of the symbol whatsoever. So you can see as I start to spray this and definitely as I begin to work the symbol, uh, you can see right on the, <laughs> the counter here, there's all kinds of um, black, dirty stuff that's, just tap the counter there, you can see all the dirt and stuff that's already coming off of this symbol from using the cleaner. So I'm gonna use the textured glove on this side, I'm really gonna rub in that symbol cleaner all the way around, going with the grooves of the symbol. In this case, there's some crusty stuff on the bottom. I actually can kind of feel it coming up as I'm going. Now a symbol that's like this, it's got a whole lot of, of dirt that's been on there for decades. A lot of grime, a lot of um, all kinds of environmental particles that are settled into the metal of the symbol. You're gonna have to take a few rounds on this. Uh, there's, there's really no way around it. Uh, we, we could make a much more caustic uh, clean, cleaner that would uh, do this job even faster but it wouldn't be quite as environmentally friendly and it certainly wouldn't be as friendly to you to be breathing this stuff in. So uh, wanted to really find a formula that wasn't gonna uh, be environmentally harmful or, or harmful for you to even just be around and breathe in. So again, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes. We're gonna return to the other side of the symbol. And uh, the one thing I always worried about was making a video that was not uh, super exciting to watch. <laughs> it's, it's a dude cleaning a cymbal, uh, which if you're real OCD, you're probably into this. Now, um, I'm looking at some of the stuff on these edges. Uh, I'll see if the camera can get that. We'll see if that comes off. That's, that's uh, pretty well. Some of that's gonna be uh, just oxidation over decades, but uh, we'll see what we can do about that. So this is round number two on the top. Already, I can feel that uh, there's a lot more dirt that's loosened up. We're gonna rinse this bad boy off again. Already, you can see there's more of a, a golden tone coming out. Some of that tape residue has come off. There's still some that's left, but I'll have uh, another solution for that here in just a moment. Already, that's looking a heck of a lot better. The one thing you'll notice about the Session Ace cleaner, the Shine cleaner, it's not really interfering with the patina of the symbol. So if there's a nice golden patina to your symbol, uh, you're gonna still have that patina afterwards. A lot of that dirt's gone. There's some really caked on, uh, tape marks that I see. I'm gonna use a product you guys have not seen. This is a product that we're working on uh, that uh, is meant especially for this kind of thing. I'm gonna apply it to <laughs> kind of see it in action here. I'm gonna apply this to that tape. And again, do a little scrubbing. This is a different kind of solution 
that, yeah, I can even see the tape <laughs> coming off onto the glove here. Yeah. So we're looking better already. Again, we're trying to get all the dirt out of the cymbal. We're really trying to get the cymbal to where it just sings. And stuff like that's gonna keep that from happening. So I'm gonna take a little paper towel here. I'm gonna dry that spot and get all the water off for a second. Also get the water off the counter. You can see how much dirt and grime is coming off this cymbal. Uh, I'm gonna apply this secret solution I can't tell you about yet. I'm gonna let that sit on the cymbal for a little while while I flip this over. All right, and we're gonna apply the same solution to the underside of this symbol as well. Do my best to see how much of this old tape residue I can get off. Uh, and I'm trying not to use a super abrasive surface because that's gonna scratch the symbol that, in cases of vintage symbols, if they're a little softer, then uh, you may actually harm the symbol. So I'm gonna try and do this in a way that uh, lifts that stuff off without without harming the surface of the symbol too terribly much. Apply a little more of that. I'm gonna let that sit again, just like just that, like I did before. And we're gonna return to this side, see how we're looking. Uh, I can definitely tell with that new solution, if I just use my fingernail, it's getting gummier, which that's part of what this, <laughs> this secret product that we're working on now does, is it takes residue like this, and it takes a little while to break down. I'm not gonna make you sit through watching this whole thing break down, but it breaks this stuff down so that it basically can be rubbed off of the surface. That stuff so... Pour it right on there and let it sit. All right, so let's take another round with our Session Ace Shine. Again, I'm looking to clean the dirt and the gunk off, pull the dirt out of the pores of the cymbal to get a cymbal that is gonna sound better after we're done. Take our glove, work that in. This is round three. Just working around the grooves of the cymbal. If I see any spots that seem to be a little bit of a trouble, I'll stay on those specifically for a couple of minutes. And it may take four or five, or sometimes, depending on how old and how grimy your cymbal is, this might take, I don't know, three or four rounds if, you're, if you really want to get as much dirt as possible out of here. Because you remember, this, some of the dirt that's been in this symbol has been here for 40 years. So it's stubborn. It doesn't want to come out. And ultimately, the goal in all this is to come up with a symbol whose tone and sustain have returned to something very close to what was originally there when the symbol was brand new. Yeah, I can already tell a huge difference. In this symbol. Its appearance, it's already, it's gold luster is already coming to the front for sure. Wow. There's no more of that green. We might have color corrected the video enough to, you don't see the green anymore, but uh, I'll take a little horsehair brush here and just see if I can, with a horsehair brush like that, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna harm the surface of the symbol. May even try a little more of that. Riveting stuff, I know, I know. Riveting. Oh yeah, we're lifting it off now.
Yeah, the horsehair type brush as opposed to a scouring pad is gonna really help you with having something that's got enough of a texture to work against that tape gunk, but it's not gonna scratch up the symbol. Yeah, most of that's gone at this point. Cool, cool, we've got just a little bit left. I'm gonna let that solution sit. A little more on top of it. All right. Give that a second to, oh man, most of that tape is gone at this point, awesome. So I guess you, uh, you're seeing my decision that we're gonna, we're gonna put this other product out <laughs> as a uh, step two degunker. Oh wow, look at that symbol, baby. Oh man. Yeah, so you can see the, uh, the colors already coming back to that symbol. You know, the shine is coming back to that symbol. You can see the patina from decades and decades of oxygen and uh, decades and decades of atmosphere just coming in contact with that surface. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the bottom of this with another round. I'm so encouraged by how Session Ace Shine did on that top. We're gonna spend a little more time on the bottom of this symbol. And uh, before I wipe it away, you can see some of the residue that's, uh, that's come off of this symbol. On these white countertops, it's really easy to see all the dirt that's come off. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before with this other tape residue. And I'm going to apply even more of this. Yeah, it's already getting gummy in that area where we had so much tape residue. I'm gonna apply a little more of this stuff. And at this point, I'm just gonna pour it on here. Let that sit. The one thing about this, uh, we'll do a video on this stuff later. Um, it's really highly concentrated. And so one of the things that you'll wanna do when you apply this new product that we'll come out with, it's gonna be called Strip, uh, Session A Strip. And um, what it really does is it does a great job of taking that gummy tape residue or any really stubborn residue that you got and it just over a few minutes dissolves that stuff. We're gonna be able to get all, all of this off. Session A Shine does a really good job of getting good surface stuff off, but in this case, something that's been on there for 40 years is it's gonna require something a little stronger in this one spot. I'm just gonna use the rest of that and uh, I think we're done there. Let that sit for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and work around on this symbol. Work this cleaner in. Already, I'm betting we're gonna get a ton more sustain the, the symbol's probably not gonna feel as stiff. That's one of the things I noticed in playing this symbol is, it felt really stiff. Like a new symbol can be stiff when you first play it, uh, until the molecules have had a chance to really vibrate and settle in. This symbol felt, it didn't feel like a new symbol, but it felt stiff like a new symbol. Yeah, I guess you, uh, you got to see the first use case of Session A Strip. <laughs> right here on uh, on this video. Oh, look at that. Almost all that tape residue is gone at this point. Look at that. Yep, now all I'm feeling is just bare symbol. That's beautiful. Keep working around, keep pushing into the symbol. Make sure that you've uh, got the symbol supported so that the weight of your pushing doesn't, doesn't bend it or, or in any way deform the shape of the symbol. Because with a, a thinner symbol, it can do that. You want to be very careful with that. But in this case, I'm using just enough pressure 
to get some friction against the symbol. Oh, look at that. The edge is gonna be a little stubborn. That edge would probably take at least one more round. But already, I think you can see the difference already in where we're at. It's all that dirt, all that gunk and grime coming right off. The reason I say use warm water is it seems to just be more reactive. with the solution. Right, that's looking pretty good. All right, moment of truth. We're gonna grab some paper towels first to just knock off a lot of the excess water from this symbol. And you can see just on the paper towel, there's, there's a lot of dirt and gunk that's even coming off still as I'm trying to dry this symbol and uh, dry the back of the symbol a little bit. Just knocking off some of the big excess water. And then we're just gonna take a towel and dry this up as quick as I can for you. Same way on the back. Already, it's, uh, it's looking great. I'm excited to hear what this thing sounds like after a few rounds. So, ideally, I'd tell this off even more. You can see how much shinier this symbol is compared to what we started with before Session A Shine. But you know, the real proof is in the sound. And as I said before, the real job of Session A Shine is to bring out the full, complete, lush, rich tone of your cymbals. So uh, let's give this a shot and see what it sounds like. As a reminder, here's what the cymbal sounded like before Session A Shine. And now, let's listen to this symbol after several applications of Session A Shine. You could go back and have a bite and come back and that one would still be ringing. <laughs> uh, before, this symbol had almost no sustain. I mean, just not too long after the sticks stopped playing, the symbol would stop vibrating, but not anymore, buddy. It even has sustain after I choke it. That's awesome. I would not hesitate to take this symbol on any gig or recording session that I had where this is the sound that I was going for, this nice, uh, lush, deep, smoky, vintage sound. This is a beautiful symbol. Before, you would have probably set this thing up for a garage sale, but uh, now, man, we've got a symbol that sounds amazing. It's, it's nice and, and it's, it's beautiful looking. Look at the patina on that symbol. We didn't bother the patina. We just cleaned the dirt out of the grooves and got the gunk off of the symbol. Uh, tape gunk, all kinds of stuff gone. Now the symbol can really ring and give you its true aged voice. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, make sure you go pick up some Session Ace Shine Symbol Cleaner at sessionace.com slash shine and I'll see you again in the next video.